Six wickets from Patel as Warwickshire close in on victory. Warwickshire night watchman Chris Wright stole the batting honours yesterday. He helped the Division 2 leaders reach 375 for six. They led Derbyshire by 57 runs with four wickets intact as play resumed in the morning. Derbyshire found a key breakthrough early on. Matt Lamb removed courtesy of Olivier, the ball caught by Godelman. Ambrose and Patel did manage to notch up a few runs before the eighth wicket went down. Patel out for seven. Olivier again the bowler. Brooks came in next and he added a few, but only lasted a few overs as well before he fell victim to Viljuan, caught by Wilson. The ninth wicket stand of Sidebottom and Ambrose added 21 before Olivier brought the innings to a close. The ball caught by footed, Ambrose out for 40. Warwickshire 4-3-9 all out, claiming a first innings lead of 1-2-1 with runs from Wright, Trot and Lamb. Slater and Reese took to the crease to begin their second innings, but it wasn't an ideal start for Derbyshire. Reese bowled by Brooks for a duck in just the second over. And Madsen didn't help matters as he was removed the same over. The ball caught by Patel, the batsman out for four. Slater and Hughes were the new pair at the crease and they did steady the ship for the visitors taking the game to lunch without any further loss. The losses of Reese and Madsen put Derbyshire under some pressure going into the afternoon. The score 34 for two and still with an 87 run deficit. They started well after the interval. But eventually the breakthrough was made as Hughes was pinned LBW by Patel for 38. Just two overs later, Godelman was back on his way for a duck. Patel with his second of the innings. Slater and Wilson managed to steady things for Derbyshire thereafter, Slater even reaching his half century as the pair brought the game to tee with the score at 126 for four. Derbyshire led at this stage by five runs with six wickets intact. They weren't in such a strong position going into the third session having lost some of their key batsmen, but Slater and Wilson were still determined when they returned to the crease in the evening. Despite some early runs, Slater was the first to depart after the break caught by Hayne off Patel. And in just the next over, his partner Wilson was also removed. This time, LBW off a Brooks delivery, out for 13. New man, Viljuen came out to try and swing momentum back his way, hitting some emphatic boundaries. But Critchley didn't last long. He was out leg before of yet another Patel delivery. Viljuen continued to push on, managing two consecutive sixes off Patel. His partner Kadiri couldn't replicate his form, sent on his way for seven, caught by Brooks, again off Patel. The ninth wicket fell in the next over, Olivier out for a two-ball duck LBW by Brooks, and the final wicket lasted just two more overs before the innings was put to a close, Patel claiming his sixth victim, Viljo and Bold for 44, Derbyshire, 209 all out. So despite good scores from Slater and Viljoen, it was a promising display from the bowlers. Patel, the pick of them, taking six for 76. Brooks also doing well, four for 56. Warwickshire requiring just 89 runs to win. Rhodes and Sibley coming out to begin Warwickshire's second innings. They managed to put just 12 on the board before the first wicket went down. Rhodes, LBW to Olivier for four. But Bell and Sibley added a few more before stumps. So at the end of the day, Warwickshire were 19 for one. They require just another 70 for victory with nine wickets in hand on the final day.